Hey guys, it's Kirsten. So this is an engagement shoot, not engagement, oh my gosh, 25th anniversary um, that I shot the other day. Um, this is the original. So there was a bunch of these buckets, planters or whatever there, and I was like, don't worry about it. I can Photoshop it out. I don't know why I do that to myself, but uh, we're going to start right in. So first we're going to kind of get rid of the big chunks, I guess. I'm going to use the little band-aid over here just to get rid of some of the easy stuff. We want to keep the ferns and you know all that. So let's just get rid of that. All right now we're going to get the clone which I can't stomach but I'm going to do control J so I'm working on another layer in case I make a boo-boo. Actually, you know what I'm going to do first, I think, is get the lasso. Maybe let's do baby steps. So let's lasso this big, huge bucket in the foreground. And we're going to do edit and then content aware fill, the new one. Obviously, we don't want it to sample from her pants. or the other buckets. Okay, that looks like it could be okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And then get my little, uh, what is it? Control D, D selects, okay. So that, that's, good enough, right? That's that's pretty cool. Okay, so I am going to go back on the second layer here. And let's see, let's sample a little bit of this snow. Of course, now the second layer has to go. Oh, I see what happened. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and flatten it just because I don't know how to. Okay, Control J. Try this again. Let's get a little bit of the snow here. Just kind of paint it over here. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I had accidentally taken this picture. Um, I forget what I did. I either like just took a step and I slipped a little bit and was like, click. And I was like, oops, but I kept it. Cause I'm like, you know what? This looks like the ground that I might need. So what I'm going to do is actually what I can do is hit the quick select. Actually, what I can do is hit the object select. Let's see what it does when I just tell it to select the ground. Oh, did a real poopy job. Um, so quick select, let's do the plus sign. We want to quick select all this ground. And there we go. Okay, now, just for the fun of it, I'm going to hit Select and Mask. And I'm just going to kind of go around the top layer. And hit OK. I'm going to get the Move tool. And I'm going to move this. Like that. Okay. I'm going to lower 
the opacity. I'm going to go to the layer mask because obviously we don't want it on her leg or my logo. So let's right click. I'm going to get a hard brush. Click X so the black is on the front. We need to make the opacity 100. Click X. There we go. OK, now what I'm going to do, click back over here. I just need to make it a little bit more blurry to match. So filter, whoop, filter. Blur, Gaussian Blur. That looks good at 30. Hit OK. Get back on the layer mask. Hit X to get black for the erase. Got a little bit mess up there. I'm going to lower the opacity to like 20. Oops, it's still hard. Hang on, let me back up. Right click. We want it soft. Soft brush. Just so it blends. Okay, we're going to Okay, that looks good. I'm going to click on the second layer here, and I feel like maybe get the clone. I'm going to just kind of pull these down a little bit. Okay, that's good. I'm going to go back up to the little little piece of land over here. Whoops, I'm going to go adjustment layer. I'm going to try the levels. You're going to kick, click this little square here because that makes it only affect the land, not anything else. I'm just going to darken it so it kind of matches. There we go. I think that looks good. Okay, let me have a look. That looks nice. Okay, so then I think, so the sun is coming from over here. So I think I did file, place embedded, go to where your overlays live. I have a whole folder. Let's see, I can do this kind of sun, I think. Let's move it to the top. There we go. Get the move tool. Change the blend mode to screen. Now, if you want to make it, hold the shift key down, you can make it more Awesome. I'm going to go back to the second layer up because I see a little place that needs to be cloned. Okay, so that looks good. Let's see what I did on the middle one. Oh, I made it more snowy. So I think what I did was I had it moved up a bit is what I did. So let's do that. Click back on the layer mask. 
100% opacity. Now let's go lower the opacity, 39, whatnot. And we're just going to kind of click it off where we don't want it. And then you can go back X and add it where you do want it if you did it too heavy handed, which good enough. Okay, I'm going to go to the background here. Um, one thing I just bought I'd like to try, which I haven't tried yet, is, is it Bellevue Ave? Peek through color. So we have wood, wheat, oh let's try wheat. Because um, I was peeking through some wheat. I'm kind of curious what that's going to look like. I'm going to go ahead and just flatten it so we can move on to the next thing. Peek through color wheat. Let me back up and show you which set this is. Bellevue Ave, Resplendent Collection, Glow. Okay, peek through wheat. Let's click on the Move tool. I'm going to hold the Shift key down. Make it look like it's just a little tiny piece of wheat, not something crazy. I feel like the wheat would have been more of at an angle. I'll go ahead and click that into place. I'm just going to lower the opacity a little bit. I actually love that a lot. Very cute, because then we have the blur up here and then the matching blur down there. Very cute. Okay, I'm going to do paint on light, which I haven't even used yet. Creamy yellow maybe would match. Let's try it. Okay, let's paint on. Uh, I hate it. <laughs> but I can also lower it. Anyway, and I think in the final images, I just did a little bit of, um, you know, liquefying the clothing so it looks a little bit less, a little bit more polished, but that's that. I hope some of these tricks helped you.